I wanted I wanted to play City of Stars from the La Land movie while I'm explaining you everything about my new braces, but the song is copyrighted, so I decided to just learn the song so you can still play in the background. In case this is the first video of mine that you're watching, I've had Invisalign for two and a half years. I never necessarily needed a procedure to straighten my teeth. I had a good bite, my teeth were a little crooked, but I wanted them to be perfect. So I got Invisalign, two and a half years later, my teeth are perfectly straight, but I don't have a bite no more. I am now obligated to get actual braces to fix the problem. Why do I not continue Invisalign to get my bite fixed? I just thought to myself, do I know of anybody who has successfully completed the Invisalign treatment? I don't. I know of like 10 people that do Invisalign and they're like in their 150, 160 trace, but nowhere near a final result. Do I know of anybody who has successfully completed a traditional braces procedure? Yes, I know of a lot of people that have. Am I getting traditional braces? Not in a million years. What's an alternative? Lingual braces, which is traditional braces that are attached to inside, to the back, to the lingual side of your teeth. Here you have it, people, someone who was stupid enough to end up doing Invisalign and lingual braces. I'm gonna compare Invisalign to lingual braces. Keep in mind that it's been five days only, so I'm only comparing the early stages of each procedure. Also, let me preface this. I'm not a fan of Invisalign. It straightened my teeth, but it messed up my bite. What's the point of getting a procedure that can only straighten your teeth if after you're not able, the functionality of your teeth is gone? I did Invisalign two and a half years and now I'm obligated to do another two years of actual braces to get my problem fixed. Costs. I think Invisalign on average costs five grand. Lingual braces on average cost eight to 10 grand. I paid five for Invisalign, 10 for Lingual. If you end up like me, you're paying 15 for both. Two, pain, similar. Very similar. I would have to say Invisalign hurt me a little bit more. Maybe that's because it was the first time my teeth were moving and now I'm already used to it. Tongue-wise, it's the same feeling as Invisalign, for me at least. If you experience tongue bleeding, whether it's Invisalign or lingual braces, it shouldn't, you shouldn't experience that. I did experience it with, uh, with lingual braces. The first day I, I got them, my tongue was bleeding at the, in the back of the tongue. So I went to the orthodontist the next day and they put some something on it and now it's fine. You should not experience tongue bleeding. Other than that, it's literally the same feeling as Invisalign, tongue-wise. Pain-wise, Invisalign was slightly more painful. Three, eating. Eating is the easiest thing with Invisalign. You take out the trays and you eat just as you normally do. Lingual braces are a pain in the ass to eat with. I mean, there's so much food stuck in between the braces. I could literally prep a new meal with all the stuff that's stuck in the braces afterwards. Cleaning. Invisalign also wins cleaning because uh, you take out your trays and then you clean your teeth just as you usually do without any braces on them and then you clean your aligners and it's fine. Cleaning your lingual braces is a pain in the ass. I mean, it takes a long time. It takes like up to eight minutes to clean them. It also requires several toothbrushes. I have one to just clean the braces with to just get all the food out and then I have an electric toothbrush um, to clean everything. It takes like eight minutes. Fifth category and last category is talking. I never experienced any problems while talking with the Muslim, whether it's with the trace on or without the trace. I never had any problem with that. This, you probably already can tell that I have a lisp. It sucks, it, like, I'm not gonna lie about it, it sucks. I feel like a 14 year old pre-puberty girl talking with braces. Conclusion, pain is about the same. Price, eating, cleaning, talking, Invisalign wins, but like I said, there's no evidence that Invisalign will get you the results that you want to. There's more, a higher chance that you'll end up after Invisalign getting actual braces. So do you really want to consider a procedure that might not work? Just think about it. Once again, my teeth were basically fine. I had a good bite, they were a little crooked. And then I got two and a half years of Invisalign, 55 trays, and I was nowhere near, like I, my bite wasn't even, and now I need to get actual braces. So I can only recommend you getting traditional braces, whether it's lingual, clear, or traditional braces. Will lingual braces get me the results that I want to? Will it fix my bite? I don't know. I'm also getting rubber, rubber bands in four weeks. So there's only one way to find out whether or not this is actually gonna work. Subscribe my channel or you die. Give like and follow. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker! Sabotage!